In light of Facebook's recent announcement about what's going to get priority on our news feeds, isn't it about time you embraced Facebook Live? Yes, it's scary, but braver, bolder, more creative marketing is essential if you want to stand out. So stay tuned for some Facebook Live ideas for photographers. Facebook made a big announcement the other day about how they are shifting their goal from helping us to find relevant content towards helping us to have more meaningful social interactions. I did a very in-depth Facebook Live on this yesterday, so if you'd like to understand what it all means for you, make sure you give that a watch or read the summary. There's a link underneath. Now Zuckerberg mentioned that they see much more engagement under live video and since engagement and real-time conversations are what Facebook wants, it would seem that live video is still going to be one of the best ways for you to engage with your followers. If you follow my videos here, you'll know that I think you need to level up your marketing if you want to show the world why you are the go-to photographer in your area. And part of leveling up is engaging in marketing activities that scare the crap out of you. Bigger, braver, bolder, remember. I know you're listening to me thinking, me, go live? No way! But if that's just because you're scared to, then it's no reason not to. There are truly amazing things on the other side of your fear. And there's nothing worse than that sense of regret when you miss the boat on something that you secretly would have loved to do, but were too scared to do it. More and more photographers are going to be jumping into Facebook Live. How would you feel if you kept putting it off out of fear and then your biggest competitor dived in before you and started engaging your local community live every week. Would you kick yourself? So I'm not even going to talk about fear anymore. You're hopefully not going to let fear get in the way of you doing something that will help you reach and connect meaningfully with your dream clients. Instead, let's address the other obstacle that's stopping you from going live. And that is, but I have nothing to say. What on earth would I talk about? Well, let me give you some ideas and hopefully it's going to get your creative juices flowing too. So number one, show behind the scenes at a shoot or at a wedding. We love a good nosy into other people's goings on. We're inherently inquisitive. The next time you're working with clients who seem open to it, ask them if they'd mind you going live on your Facebook page to share some aspects of the shoot with your audience. You could talk about the outfits your clients are wearing and why they work so well. You could show one of your sleepy newborns curled up in a cute pose and talk through the safety aspects of it all. Or you could show your audience a really quirky favor idea or the beautiful little details from the wedding that you're shooting. If your clients are up for it, you could do a short informal interview about how they felt before the shoot and what they enjoyed the most. Maybe you could go live during one of your headshot shoots and interview the business person that you're working with or the actor that you're working with about what it is that they do. Or maybe live stream part of your next networking event. The possibilities for this kind of live are endless. Number two, show behind the scenes of your workflow. You know how important it is that your clients know what to expect when it comes to working with you. The communication and the touch points throughout the customer experience are vital to customer satisfaction and a great sale. Wouldn't it be great to just show them? You could go live whilst you're post-processing and show them how you would take an image from straight out of the camera to its final edit. 
you could go live and show them your brand new wall art sample and talk about how and where you would hang it for maximum effect. Show your audience how you go about creating mock-ups of beautiful wall galleries and the process that you go through to make them just right. Maybe you could visit your clients who've purchased wall galleries from you and go live inside their home showing how they've displayed them. Again, this is a drop in the ocean. You could do the same kind of live over and over again because there will always be a different story to tell. Number three, start a Facebook Live show. Facebook loves nothing more than seeing that you have followers who come back to engage with you over and over and over again, especially if it's happening consistently on the same day and at the same time every week. So what could your Facebook Live show be centered around? If you're a newborn photographer, could you do a show for expecting parents or parents of young children? You could go live each week and engage with them about stuff that's relevant and interesting to them. Talk about breastfeeding in public and get some conversation going. Talk about home births and ask them to share their experiences and their concerns. Get some ideas for easy family recipes from your followers. Provide them with some local information that they're going to love to know. Is there a new baby class starting up soon? Maybe you could interview the person behind it. You'll find that lots of parents will get involved with something like this. Not just parents-to-be and new parents. We love to talk about our experiences bringing up our kids. And doing this locally could spark new friendships and really help parents in your community. You'll soon become known for a show like this and you will be the first name on everyone's lips when they need a newborn photographer or when someone's asking for a recommendation. This would not just work for newborn photographers, a show for dog owners to discuss all things canine, a show for brides-to-be to discuss all things wedding. And you know you'd have more than just brides-to-be in there because past brides love to keep on talking about their wedding for years to come. Number four, give a glimpse into your personal life. Your potential client wants to work with a photographer they're going to like and they're going to trust. They can't know that about you if you're a faceless and humanless business on Facebook. These days, it's the business owners who show us their human side who seem to get the most engagement and they build the most trust. I am not talking about sharing your deepest and darkest secrets here. I'm just talking about giving your followers a glimpse of who you really are and what makes you tick, allowing them to relate to you. Maybe you've just finished reading an amazing book and you want to share the recommendation live and ask your followers to recommend a book for you to read next. Or you've just discovered an amazing new cafe or a boutique in the area. Go live and share the love. You could go live just to share an awesome sunset that you're experiencing on a walk with your dog. Or perhaps you could go live to talk very candidly about the challenges you face being a working parent. You'll get a lot of engagement around that one. Don't underestimate the power of letting your potential clients get to know you. You're going to attract people who relate to you and you're going to love working with them. And believe me when I say that your fans will choose you as their photographer when the time comes even if you're more expensive. At the very least, they'll be recommending you to everybody they know. Can you really still say that you have nothing to say? The only thing that's really in your way is fear and resistance. And the only way to beat those enemies is just to go ahead and take action. Don't think about it too much. Just go live and get your first one over and done with. Hardly anyone will watch to start with, so you don't have to worry about it being crap. No one's a pro straight out of the box. 
It just doesn't happen. All you need is your computer or your phone to go live. Nothing fancy. If you want to take it up a level in time, then great, I can help you with that. For now though, the important thing is to start. Don't expect through the roof numbers and engagement to begin with. It doesn't work like that. It's going to build over time and you can stick with it and be consistent and you're going to love what happens to your inquiries and the quality of your clients. Before long, you'll find that you're attracting clients who love your live streams and they want to be in them. Now, if all of this sounds great to you, but you have no idea where to start and you have problems with consistency and taking action on these bigger, braver marketing activities, then look no further than our Togs and Business membership. This is what we exist to do. We help you to take action to move your business forwards. It's hard to be disciplined when you're on your own and you're your own boss. You need accountability. And if that sounds like something you need, get yourself over to the membership and fill in an application form. But if you're not quite ready for that, then be sure to at least join us in our free Facebook group. All the links you need are below the video. So tell me, are you going to go live? I would love to hear your ideas and your concerns and challenges in the comments. I do read them all. So tell me. Thank <music> you.